Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. Aging is one of the major risk factors for degenerative joint disorders. Today we're going to look at a study about using senolytics to treat this condition, which according to the paper currently has no effective mechanism-based treatment available. The study outcome is promising, which shows that by reducing sen senescent cells, cartilage degeneration was alleviated and bone volume was increased. Let's have a look at the paper in more detail. First, a disclaimer that in this video we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper, which appeared in Aging Cell. Senolytics alleviate the degenerative disorder of temporomandibular joint in old age. The study was on mice, but here is a diagram showing the location of the joint just by the ear. It is the joint that allows the lower jaw to move up and down. Aging is a major risk factor for degenerative joint disorders, including the temporomandibular joint. The degeneration is seen mostly in people over 65, for which there is currently no mechanism-based treatment. In the study, they demonstrate senolytic drugs which selectively clear senescent cells improved a number of metrics in 23 and 24 month old mice. Meanwhile, the senolytics had little effect on four month old mice. The study therefore provides a proof of concept that age related TMJ degeneration can be alleviated by senolytics. And since the drugs used in the study have been shown safe for humans, it opens a path to clinical trials in the future. Here are the details of the study. They used male and female mice with the young ones at four months and the old cohort at 23 or 24 months for male and female respectively. The intervention was to use dasatinib at 5 mg per kilogram and quercetin at 50 mg per kilogram. A quick calculation using the conversion ratio of 12.3 for mice to human gives us a 0.4 mg per kilogram for dasatinib and 4 mg per kilogram for quercetin. They chose these molecules because they have been shown to be effective at removing senescent cells. They may slow the fundamental process of aging. They have been shown to be non-toxic and extend mouse lifespan and they have been shown to be safe in human trials. The drugs were given for three days in a row, every two weeks, then data collected seven days after the last dose. They first looked for signs of senescent cell activity. Here and in the future graphs, black is the control and red is the treatment group. P21 is a marker for senescence. We can see it is low in the young mice and DQ made no difference. But in older groups we see a big difference for the controls having much more activation. There is a similar story in matrix metalloproteinase 13 and P65, two other markers of senescence. But not bone morphology protein, which was unaffected. They then looked at the structure of the bone and joint. The cartilage thickness was maintained at almost the same level as the young controls. The OARSI score is a system set up by the Osteoarthritis Research Society International to grade joint health. When they were young, the mice had a good score and the DQ received better scores than their aged match controls. Bone volume increased with age and with DQ it increased more. For bone mineral density, this increased for males, but not for females. In summary, they say, biweekly administration of DQ improves bone turnover, alleviates cartilage degeneration and pathological conditions, and improves bone volume in TMG in old mice. It's worth noting that this is similar to the previous studies on knee joints. The results were consistent across the sexes. It is possible that there are other mechanisms at work beyond senescent cell clearance. The drugs themselves have short half-lives, so the implication is that they made some longer-lasting changes in the body that does not require the continuous presence of the drugs. And only old mice were affected, which points to the mechanism being through the elimination of senescent cells. 
Although there are differences in the morphology between mice and humans, the study does provide preclinical evidence for DQ's potential to improve TMG issues in mice, which may lay the foundation for clinical trials in the future. I think this is interesting as it shows the potential positive impact on joint health of senolytics, some of which, for example quercetin, are available now. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.